All right, guys, right back at you. Um, familiar with the brewery, first time having this beer. Boulevard Brewing Company, give y'all a quick backstory. Um, Strange Triple was the first beer I had from Boulevard Brewing Company. They're out of Kansas City, Missouri. Um, Strange, Strange Triple was good. I think they discontinued that. I haven't seen it. Um, for a while, I was drinking Tank Sevens. That's a farmhouse Saison. Was in love with it for like two years. Tried one last year, and it just tasted really different. I don't know if they changed the recipe. Maybe my taste buds evolved. Who knows? I didn't enjoy it. But um, this is one of those I've always seen it. Always seen this. Six glass. It's a quad. It's 10%. Or, excuse me, 10.2. 22 IBUs. That's very that's low for, I, for the IBUs. It's a quadruple L. It's called the Six Glass. These guys got some good beer. I've had some good beers. Like I said, the Tank 7 was kind of disappointing. Maybe they changed the recipe. I know that can happen. Kind of like with Bell's Hop Slam. Bell's Hop Slam used to be spectacular. The last couple of years, it was kind of, eh. It's not worth $16 a six-pack. That's for damn sure. All right, guys. Let me get into this. Uh, Beer Advocate gives this a 94. Outstanding. I'm tilting this. It's a Belgian. I tell it's just force a habit. It's in my DNA, man. If it's a Belgian, it's getting tilted. And plus, I really didn't want to wait. I like the hard pour. I just don't like waiting five, ten minutes to start drinking. Kind of in a rush. Got to go to bed. Got to wake up early for work tomorrow. So, this is my nightcap. Oh, it almost smells like they aged this in something. I'm getting oak. It's the first thing I got. Yeah, I'm just getting strong oak. Um, I didn't read the back. Oh, there's a backstory on this. Usually for quads, when you get into triples and quads, well, actually, you know what? When you get into doubles and then triples, then quads, the complexity of the beer is just skyrockets. So this is going to be interesting. Oak, uh, hops, barley, kind of like a woodiness, I guess, from the, from the oak. Um, dankiness, mildew. Not really mildew, but uh, more yeah, like a dankiness. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into this, guys. Cheers. Hmm. Okay, little sip, little sip, because this is 10%, so no big sip. <sighs> Definitely a Belgian. It's got a lot of depth to this. This is deep, deep character. This is, this, yeah, they had to age this. This, yeah, this has to have been aged. This is a little, so much character to this. It's like, let me see. Yeah, it's like each sip has its own identity, like a snowflake. You know, they say a snowflake, each one is has its own identity. They're not the same. That's, this, is, this is complex. I like this. This is a gentleman's beer, uh, Brian the Beer Snob. I'm sure he's probably already had it. You'd he'd love this. Um, beer for breakfast. Facts for snacks. You'd like it. Uh, Wayne's beer delivery. I, because you're a pilsner and a lager guy, I don't know if you can appreciate this as much as I do, but I think you might like it. It's strong. It's a. Uh, this is a. Uh, Hanging out with my buddies that I went to school with and we're going to tell stories from back in the day kind of beer. That's what this is. This is good. This is good. I like this. Nothing I would go to often because of how strong it is and also like how in-depth 
and complex it is. Like it. All right, guys. It's going to be the last review for the evening because if I drink another beer, I will not make it to work tomorrow. So I got to go to sleep. See you guys tomorrow. Cheers.